Michael McGrath, an actor who had won a Tony Award, passed away at the age of 65. According to his publicist, McGrath passed away on Thursday in the comfort of his own home in Bloomfield, New Jersey. According to Variety, his passing was reportedly sudden. However, the reason for his passing was not disclosed. His representative said the following about him to people, a Red Sox fanatic bourbon connoisseur devoted husband and father and friend to anyone who met him. McGrath was born in Worcester, Massachusetts and has acted in more than a dozen Broadway productions some of which include Plaza Suite, Tootsie Spamalot, and nice work if you can get it. It was for his performance in the latter piece that he was awarded the Tony Award in 2012 for Best Performance by a Featured Actor in a Musical. In addition, he was nominated for a Tony Award for his performance as Patsy in the Broadway musical Spamalot, which ran in 2005. Among his other honors, he was nominated for a Drama Desk Award, received nominations from the Outer Critics Circle, and was given a Theatre World Award. On the small screen, he was most known for his role as Martin Short's sidekick in the ill-fated television series The Martin Short Show, which ran from 1999 to 2000. On Friday morning, fellow Broadway star Steve Kazzy paid his respects to McGrath by posting a tribute to him on Instagram, I am beyond devastated. I will never forget the times we spent together at Angus House and everything I learned from you. You were nicer to me than you had any obligation to be, and I am quite appreciative of the time that we were able to spend together. A remarkable human being passed away much too soon. I really do love you, Michael. Rest in peace, he wrote. Jesse Tyler Ferguson expressed his disappointment, saying, What a loss. Another Broadway star, Patty Murren, also paid tribute to McGrath on Instagram, posting a picture of the actress holding her newborn child in her arms. Absolutely devastated to wake up this morning and hear that Michael McGrath has passed away, she wrote in the text message she sent out. Although our time at Little Shop at the Money was brief, our time spent working with him was like condensing the joy of the past two decades into a matter of weeks. Always happy, always interested in hearing about my family, and always acting like a father even when he was talking to fully grown adults like us. Here he is holding Lorelei so that I could do a radio interview, she said, alluding to her child with fellow actor Colin Donald. Lorelei is her name for their daughter, she continued. She then posted an account in which McGrath was described as singing to her young daughter as he sang her a lullaby. I remember thinking to myself, this baby has no idea how lucky she is, and expressing it out loud. Anyone who has ever spoken to Michael, even if it was just to say hello, has been incredibly blessed, and I still can't believe that I won't be able to see him laugh again in my lifetime. My thoughts, prayers, and love are with his family, especially Tony and Katie, whom he cherished more than anything else in the world.